Hey coders and welcome to the very first episode of now our second playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This playlist is going to be about the Gmail service and this episode will be about the Gmail app. So the Gmail app is the parent class of the Gmail service. Again, this application is somewhat of a wrapper around the Gmail API which Google provides but it's still very verbose, it still has a lot of use cases, and I use it quite frequently. Some of the common direct uses of it are sending emails, analyzing email data, and managing inboxes. So let's dive into the code, see if we can get this, this Gmail app authenticated for our app. Because of the new season, we have to create a new project, so let's just go up here and click on New Project. And before we do anything, we can see this little pop-up that says enable the new app script runtime powered by Chrome V8. So let's just do that right now. Again, this will allow us to write in modern JavaScript. So now let's title our project and say season two. Hit OK. And that's going to be saving. And as that's saving, let's type in Gmail app. And if we hit the dot button, again, if we get a list of methods, then we're doing this correct. If you don't get this list of methods, then I would suggest perhaps seeing if you spelled it correctly and make sure that it's case sensitive. So the G and the A both had to be capitalized for it to work. Um, but let's, let's just authorize our app right now. So let's just pick a random method like get inbox threads. There we go. We'll hit save, we'll hit run and it will ask us to authorize. So this again is to make sure that we are sure that this app is safe to use and it's going to access the Gmail of this account. That's fine. App isn't verified by Google, but it's okay. I wrote the app. So this, this Gmail service or this Gmail app will allow us to read Compose, send, and permanently delete all of my email from Gmail. And that sounds kind of scary, but it's okay because we are in control when we're writing the code. And we'll hit allow. And authorization is now complete. So now we have access to all of Gmail's apps, methods, and services. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.